me you're, just that's your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new untold story. A new untold story, 311. What's uh what's the I, it's a band? Yeah, I know, but like Amber I know Amber, but I don't know the Fuck lyric. Yeah. I don't know how that song goes at all. I just know it's a song. Area Shit. code of New York, which I is heard Amber. Like a court case. <laughs> that was pretty was that a bar? I heard Amber like a court case. Right, but like was that did was did you take Here's that bar? From, Johnny. <laughs> Uh, we have one of our rarest yeah, Kyles with I'm us today. Boss. We have a sick Kyle. <laughs> You're never mm -hmm. sick, but today, sick as a dog. I took a sick day. Uh, I don't know what's good with me. I was so worried about you being sick, I didn't have the chance to write jokes for the news. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude, you're probably freaking like in, out right it's now. It's probably like, what's the net? Is it in my asshole? No, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's in my fucking pocket, uh, dude. Good. We uh, yeah, this is going to be people calling me like, Oh, how does he never know? <laughs> I mean, you're good with it. You're nice. <laughs> I'm nice with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a really half-assed news day for me uh, because we are writing the news as well for our live show, our sold-out live show mm. at Laugh mm -hmm. Boston, which will have special guests, tomatoes, um, and I guess that's the two things we're asking. <laughs> tomatoes. Like, we should yeah. do a poster. With special guests. We, tomatoes. We, uh, we should sell a poster. It's just like Anus Live with special guests. Tomatoes. <laughs> it's like they could have just put and, but <laughs> just a yeah. comma. Uh, <laughs> we need more non-human special guests. Yes. <laughs> be a thing. <laughs> Imagine the pop for tomatoes when they come out on stage. Ladies. Holy gentlemen. shit. Ladies and gentlemen. Tomato. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't know they were going to be here. They're back together. <laughs> what the, the boys brought out tomatoes? Mm. What a get. <laughs> The anus boys scored tomato. <laughs> God but damn. You can see the tomatoes live. You see than we, yeah. mm. Damn. Oh, boy. Um, so, for, tomatoes <laughs> suck. Yeah. How dude. they managed to be one of the, like the default ingredients in America's most popular <laughs> foods is, 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 is the, the, one of the few like food tr like phenomenons that blow my mind. <laughs> I don't think it's a food phenomenon. Lettuce and I just think they put people lettuce like and them. tomato on everything. They, they that's a staple of burgers. I think sandwiches. But it's mm -hmm. never the okay, it's never the it's always it's never the put, premier you gotta item. Gotta put lettuce and tomato on this. It's never the premier item. Lettuce and item. tomato taste subpar. No crunch. texture subpar. It's a cool crunch. And like I when I'm eating something that's savory and good, I don't want like a like a centimeter of juicy <laughs> mild vegetable taste like exploding in my mouth when they're a better they're a better like guest a fucking, than they are vegetable they should not be like you should they you should have to like specifically ask for tomatoes on your burger and lettuce <laughs> ketchup and mustard shouldn't be the default condiments what should by be any stretch <laughs> Is this the type of Kyle we're getting today? You, like, I mean, you love it or hate it, a mayo-based sauce goes way better with a burger, a sandwich, etc., than uh, ketchup and mustard. Like McDonald's, <laughs> not wrong, the wrong. premier fast food restaurant. Will put, if you don't, you don't even have to. You, you don't ask for it. Your cheeseburger will come with lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, ketchup, and mustard. Um. Oh, for five, in my opinion, dude. Well, <laughs> yeah, then maybe you just get, don't like hamburgers. Maybe give man. me, give me chips. Give me like a jam. And... <laughs> yeah, that should be the. Yeah. That should be okay. Uh -huh. So they, replace always... all of those. What should the default on it, a hamburger okay, okay, be? Okay. Chips and jam. If you're gonna put a tomato on there, why is it always so thick? It's always this thick, <laughs> and that's a whole bite of nothing. It, it, it just explodes. Rebuild, in your mouth rebuild. With a taste that doesn't really complement. Uh, 
rebuild cheese. rebuild the default cheeseburger then the default cheeseburger should be the patty <laughs> yeah. the cheese and the bread and then you should add there should be a that list should of be the add-ons. default is plain i'll i'll get um i would i would prefer fritos <laughs> fritos and like a a tomato jam, not necessarily a... That's ketchup, maybe, dude. Yeah, maybe like a chipotle mayo. <laughs> you said tomato. That's ketchup. Um, <laughs> Le Pont Coutinien has this like breakfast sandwich What's it, with wh- a what tomato does? jam. What's, is, wh- is what's, far, what did you just say? Le Pont Coutinien. I believe that's the pronunciation. <laughs> LPQ? It's a French bistro. <laughs> they did the Fritos as well? The, the Fritos are... I, I think chips should be way more popular on sandwiches, burgers. It's... The like, I don't know. Um, I agree. Ketchup, mustard, tomatoes, lettuce. But a nice, cool, pickles. crisp. <laughs> In the, what we, pickles, tomatoes, pickles. Tomatoes at least are a mild, <laughs> a boring <laughs> taste. Pickles are a very strong taste. Um, and they're thick. And what, like, um, Unless the patty is <laughs> absolutely disgusting, don't make me bite into like three-fourths a uh, centimeter of pickle. <laughs> um, pickles are bad. You good? Pickles are so bad that they're the best chaser. The pickle juice is the best chaser for liquor. Yeah. Because it's so fucking bad and strong. It's not bad. It is just one step better than like a, a straight liquor, which is poison. <laughs> and it's so strong that it's like, yeah, I, I can really Where, Did you have like a bad burger? I've been thinking about this for years. Obviously. Yeah, I have a lot of food opinions. Yeah, that this is the most normal our podcast has yeah, ever been. Start tearing uh, fast food entree. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so Arby's <laughs> is your second round pick. Oh, <laughs> Arby's. Well, the French dip, the French dip in Oju. Yeah. <laughs> I was on TikTok and that was like <laughs> two million likes. It was like a podcast being like they were like drafting fast food and the guy picked Arby's. The other guy like w- exploded and walked <laughs> out. Um, two million likes. Yeah. Yeah. Arby's <laughs> number two. <laughs> <laughs> that's podcasting. That's podcasting. We're Maybe not, that, we're not we'll that. use that a clip yeah. for our, our that's we could do that at our live show. Yeah. Um, uh, Chick-fil-A at one is whatever. Arby's a two. <laughs> okay, man. All right. Um, all right. You want to get in the news? Yeah. Uh, these are really bad news jokes for me. Just a heads up. So if you want to fast forward, not a huge deal. Good intro, Kyle. Nice cold open. That was hilarious. I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> I big agree on the t- lettuce tomato. I just, but on a BLT, it's awesome. Well, well yeah, that's, that's, that's your then, that is You're part of the BLT. It, but, but, yeah. Oh my god! When I order a BLT, I'm lettuce and tomato are a part of a cheeseburger. So I ordered a bacon lettuce tomato. I know a lettuce and tomato is coming, <laughs> but that is still a default of a ha- if cheeseburger. If I told somebody no. to draw a cheeseburger, they're drawing exactly. lettuce and tomato, exactly, and it yes. shouldn't be the case. Those are two very subpar ingredients. The, on a is a BLT a subpar sandwich? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it is. That, that it's, it's, it's bread with bacon, lettuce, and tomato. What if I put bread? What voice was that? What if I put bread with that sound bacon, come? cheese, potato, Jeez. like better ingredients? <laughs> so wait. No you, one thinks lettuce tastes better than cheese. Would you put lettuce, tomato on a chicken parm? No. Tomato is such a bad bite. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I think you can have good bites of I, tomato. I don't like the I don't, seedy, I don't think it's, goopy I don't, bites. I'm not like this is disgusting. I mean, this is just a nuisance. It's more that I have to bite into. Are you done now? I'm trying to think about their. Like, <laughs> yeah, when the fries come in cups, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. sick Kyle is, has takes. I love it. <sighs> yeah. What is your malady? Why you did take? You never miss the yak. What's your malady? I've been diarrheaing nonstop, which isn't a malady because I don't think diarrhea is like is bad. I think it's a better poop. <laughs> Efficiently. Uh, when it comes out in liquid, I'm like, yeah, I'm pumped about it, but it's still like holding me hostage to the toilet. Yeah. Um, that's not even the bad thing. I tried. I haven't taken a day off of lifting in 35 days. Wow. Um, not, no, out of, to a fault. 
I'm addicted to it and in a bad way. Um, so I keep going in despite how I feel that today I went in. Did you have you know, diarrhea I, at the I gym? Was, I was struggling shoulder pressing fifties and I'm like, yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem. Most people would be like, yeah, this is a problem. I'm probably sick. My muscles are aching. My body is sore. I should probably take the day off. Me, I struggle with the fifties. I'm like, no, I can't. So did you go to struggle. failure with the 50s? I can't struggle with 50s because I usually do 55s fairly easily, at least on the first three sets. So, I yeah, I combated that by like, all right, fuck this. I'll go to 60s. And then I thought I was going to pass. I, I was. You texted us and you just said, I had a scare at the gym. I was in the supine position on Planet Fitness floor. Um <laughs> Because I were people I, like checking to see I if you were okay. I wasn't actually going to pass out, but I was like, this is like, this is a problem. I feel something's off. I can barely breathe. I can barely think. Um, Did people whatever. check on you? No, that's the, that's the be That's the one thing I like about <laughs> gyms. Maybe this is just a planet fitness that people don't acknowledge you. <laughs> it's always packed, but no one acknowledges you in the slightest. And you were just laying on the floor. I was. Yeah. Supine. Supine. Anyways. <laughs> Kyle, you, do you want to do that? Do you just want to yeah, keep yeah. going on hamburgers? No, we'll get, we'll get to it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get, we'll get to part two of that. Um, interest rates are sky high after the British pound crashes. Have you guys seen that? In, yes, I did. On the BBC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how similar foreign economy is to my taste in women. My interest rate goes up when the more pounds go down. I like thinner women. <laughs> you do. You do. <laughs> mm hmm this is, this is going to be the type of week this is. Um, a mom shared a viral post of her young handicapped daughter enjoying a rare wheelchair accessible pool. The mother used her daughter as an example, and she's an advocate for more accessible swimming pools for the disabled. Uh, my response to her is that every pool is wheelchair accessible if you're mean enough. <laughs> what we need is pools that are wheelchair egressible. They need to be able to leave. It's the opposite of access. Huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Birmingham. Birmingham, back to England. Mm -hmm. uh, they held their first ever pride parade of exclusively fat and disabled LGBTQ people. Oh, is that real? Yeah. Okay. The parade had... Can I do the punchline of this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> uh, the parade had 25 participants and spanned three blocks, and it took 14 hours to complete. They were very fat. While, th <laughs> <laughs> while that was going on in downtown Birmingham, uh, the rest of the city recorded record low reports of bullying. <laughs> it's all in one spot. <laughs> Convenient for everybody. <laughs> the parade route went right next to a locker store. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> um, a bride is suing the best man of their wedding of the, you know, the groom's best man yeah. uh, for damages caused by an insensitive wedding toast that included jokes about drugs, cheating, and even OJ Simpson, uh, toast and OJ. We talking weddings or fucking breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> An Atlanta man was arrested for storming, uh, in a bowling alley where his then girlfriend was on a date with another man. And he kicked her down the lane. Um, are we talking crime or motherfucking breakfast? Talking about kicks and a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the newest lower end iPhone, the iPhone SE 2 came out. Uh, it's finally adding back the corded headphone port along with a new boxier shape. Box? Apple Jacks? This is sound a lot like breakfast. <laughs> I went with a breakfast theme today. I walked out to Owen and I was like, dude, my brain is fucking mush. I can't think of a joke. So I just went with breakfast. theme. And Dukes was sitting next to Owen. So I was talking to Owen. I go up yeah. to him. I'm like, dude, I only wrote jokes about breakfast. And Dukes like looks up at me and he goes like breakfast burritos. And I was like, yeah, dude, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would fall in the umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Firmly. Yeah. yeah. I guess, uh -huh. I guess like breakfast burritos that it. That is undeniably a breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> that, like uh -huh. when he, when I, he heard me say breakfast, I think the only breakfast food he could think of had the word breakfast in it. 
He had, yeah, he couldn't even, he couldn't have said like uh, pancakes. No, 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 that was well beyond. It's not like a one of one association he had to think of. Yeah. Oh, breakfast, like, like breakfast, breakfast burritos. burritos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's so dumb. Um, in NFL news, Trey Lance's ankle snapped, crackled, and popped. <laughs> Um, oh. <laughs> Are we talking football or breakfast? <laughs> um, a man charged with assault for his third strike, relentlessly and incessantly signaling hello to a woman in a South Korean internet cafe. A soul surfer getting assaulted while on the waves? Hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this Wait, is, I actually don't know where this is going. Yeah. Go. A, a soul surfer? Yeah, go on. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> like a foot? <laughs> like like soul surfer. Oh. <laughs> it's Bethany <laughs> Hamilton. Bethany Hamilton. <laughs> well, like when well, she was a delicious hors d'oeuvre. I fucking for <laughs> For a tiger shark. God Did you damn. forget we do? I forgot about Bethany Hamilton. I got <laughs> to start getting back on the Bethany Hamilton. No, nah, we're off Bethany Hamilton. Now we're cereal. Okay. Every, our, now yeah, we're cereal I'll, I'll now. Your turn. You got anything for us, Kyle? Dude, I would take it like a... I would take just corn on my oh fork my over a tomato. Just like a handful of corn. That would be, it's a better crunch, it's a better taste. Elderly tomato. love tomatoes. Tomatoes aren't terrible. <laughs> but look, why on, why on a burger? <laughs> Dude, read your fucking jokes. Yeah, it's just, it's, I think it's a texture thing. <laughs> okay. I'm t done trying to be cool. Especially after this story. <laughs> More than 190,000 Hampton Bay ceiling fans are being recalled due to reports of the blades detaching while in use. At least two people were injured by the detached blades and other customers of Ham Hampton Bay's online store are seeking reimbursement, claiming the ceiling fans were not only dangerous, but a complete waste of money. Looks like several online shoppers are up in arms after being ripped off by the ceiling fan blades. At least these surfers aren't down in arms after being ripped off from the blade. Like Bethany Hamilton, who lost her left one after it was ripped off her shoulder blade <laughs> by a 14-foot tiger shark. Got that out of the way? Yeah. Speaking of shocking fans... The elusive Frank Ocean has continued to surprise fans time and time again. Now he celebrates two of his latest Blondit radio episodes by dropping a new classic logo Iceman t-shirt. But his fans are still holding out hope for new music. Mm. The 34-year-old the singer hasn't came out with an album since 2016 when he released Blonde. Since then, he has only put out a handful of singles. The last time Ocean released Blonde, it ended up with more than just a handful. In fact, Ocean ended up with an entire armful after releasing Blonde's teen surfer, Bethany Hamilton from the South Pacific. <laughs> this is kind of relevant to our past week. LSU mm. has officially banned infamous white supremacist <laughs> and former Grand Wizard of the KKK, David Duke, from their campus. Mm. This is coming after an incident where LSU police forcefully removed the six foot four far right politician from the campus's Lod Cook Hotel, despite the fact that Duke is a graduate of LSU and earned a BA in history from the university in 1974. Okay. Hmm. This isn't the biggest nor the most controversial LSU alumnus to earn a B.A. In fact, a 14 foot tiger <laughs> earned a B.A. in 2003 when it successfully amputated and ingested a Bethany arm. <laughs> God. That had nothing to do with breakfast, dude. We said breakfast. We said breakfast, man. <laughs> um, this was 
supposed to be a breakfast episode. <laughs> Yeah, Le Pan Cotignens. <laughs> Yo, tomatoes like paid for it's this It's the episode. egg cheddar avocado breakfast sandwich. It's elite and it comes with a tomato jam. And it, I don't know what the ingredients is or are. <laughs> it is so much better than ketchup. It's my favorite breakfast sandwich. And it's, it, what is it? It's a tomato something jam. There's no full tomato or ketchup. And it's so good. And I'm like, why isn't this the norm? Well, like, if, would it be good on a burger? The tomato chip? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? It's apple, ginger, red pepper flakes, cinnamon, lime juice. Well, like, that's there's far a lot more than just right. a tomato. You can't compare that, that to jam. a tomato. And I, and I understand that like these billion dollar corporations, these chains like McDonald's, et cetera, can't like afford to like produce that in mass, but. Why, like, even when you go to like a barbecue, is this a news joke? Even when you go to like a standard like f like football Sunday at someone's house, they they set out the burger ingredients, and there's always the ketchup, the tomato, and the lettuce. That adds nothing to the taste of a burger to the point where I just want a smash burger with just cheese. That's what I'm seeking. So, Holy shit! Did we just lose power? That's never happened. <laughs> you were saying yeah we're, I think did you lose your train of thought saying <laughs> Jesus dude I mean what <laughs> uh, vegetable wise I'm trying first of all we don't need vegetables it's a like we have been tr like conditioned to think that vegetables are some necessary like dietary inclusion do you have any more news jokes um, something about Mark Cuban, uh, a shark, he uh, getting ripped off. I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, um, the ones at the live show are going to be so good. They're, yeah. They're the... <laughs> yeah. I wrote a, like I was writing some and I'm like, if this, this is semi good, I might as well save it for next week. Mm -hmm. um, I have to, uh, I came to a realization uh, on the flight home from New Orleans. Which got yeah, you guys, you guys are going to be shocked. Yeah, we got back at 2 a.m. Uh, you guys are going to be shocked. Um, probably going to be let down. I think I'm a beta. Huh? Mm -hmm. I think I'm a beta. Why? I got alpha out of my window, my assigned window seat. Bye. A Samoan. Oh, okay, that's yeah. not. No, that's no. fine. Am I good? Yeah. Because he yeah. was sitting in the aisle, and he was yeah. like, "Oh, are you window?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "I prefer the window." I was like, "Yeah, I'll take, I'll take yours. Just go take that. I, I'm cool with aisle." Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in aisle. Nobody in between us. Him. Another woman comes down, and she looks at me. She's like, "You're in my seat." And I look at him. He's like, "Never said I was aisle." So I was just oh. middle. You just, you just took middle. Yeah. Wow. Alfred by a Samoan. Um. So be it. So, um, was yeah. He, was he at least a, like a? I also choked on a Girl Scout cookie smoke? once. So yeah. It was happened twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, it has a hole in the middle. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't ingest it, it that way. I choked on a lifesaver once in music class. Who was our music teacher at Saint? Flatly. There were no. There was like four. There. Yeah, they, they, yeah, it was yeah, almost was like a dark guy. arts professor at Hogwarts. Right, yeah, I remember that. Cho yeah, choked Did on make a little whistle? Oh, was it Mr. Baum? It wasn't Mr. Bomb. It was Romantic. Ro Miss Romantic. There was a Miss Romantic and then a, a Miss, Miss Romantic. Rom Tick. Man yeah. Whatever. It was one of those. Um, and I couldn't like chew for, I was like, <laughs> and it was like, I got PTSD from, this is real. Yeah, I'm for, being like, serious For two too. years, like I, I would chew everything like 10 times the duration that it needed to be. Because I was terrified of choking and then, yeah, it's a real fear. Yeah, sure. Did you hear the Samoan on my flight screaming? Did he wake you up at all? No, I was out cold. About every 30 minutes, he was asleep and would just go, ah! and he would look at me. He's like, sorry, nightmares. And they just go right back to sleep and then just do it again. That's a, what a life that would be. What? He can just fall asleep at the, you know, just like that. Disrupt people and not feel anything. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, just push me around. It was, uh, I don't know. New Orleans is, uh, uh, it's not my favorite city we've been to. No, it, it wasn't for me, and 
I don't know what is. What would you compare it, was too, it to? It was way too hot. I, I don't know. Under water. It was know, a heat that I've never felt. Um, you can't. And yeah, if it, if you get that hot, it's it's a no for me. Yeah. Even if it's like an anomaly. Yeah. Like I don't care if it's, it's, a, a, that's if a, it's no. a possibility. I can't live there. Um, but while I was there, <sighs> I never talk about shit like this. I did get my flirt on <laughs> via Instagram message. Oh really? I mean that's the move. Venus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah okay. Dude. Where do we leave off? Uh, I just sent Yo Yo Ma. You sent you. Okay. I know you got a response. Yes. Like right after we finish recording. Right after we week. finish recording. Okay. First off, yeah, Yo Yo Ma is a cellist. Yes. So it's not stupid. What? Would another fucking instrument be stupid? No, I'm thinking people don't know what the some people don't know what that is. No, no, so it's I thought it was, it's clever, a clever, yeah, it's classical Yo-Yo music Ma, line. She's a famous cellist. I think he was referenced by Jack Black in School of Rock. Mm. He's that famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, what was he was like Yo-Yo Ma's cousin, little nepotist. Um, that was that reference. Are you are you sure that wasn't the farmer in Napoleon Dynamite? That was. Sure. <laughs> Shoshone Arrowheads. <laughs> You're good at that. Shoshone Arrowheads. <laughs> In yeah, School of Rock was Yo Yo Ma's cousin. He was preaching to his easily school con- kids. Easily confused. How like the music industry is kind of plagued by nepotism. Sure. Um, Yo Yo Ma's cousin got like a big in. Yeah. Just from that. From the. I'm nature. sure. I'm yeah. sure though. Like you know, probably a good musician being related to Yo Yo. So. Venus. Before we get into left. that, game time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great app. We use it. We're going to go see Fred We're again. Gonna, I think we might. Yeah, I think we actually sent in. We asked We asked game time. Our folks at game time. The we tickets. here is wild. <laughs> I came up to Kyle and I was like, let's go see Fred again. This, yeah, this blew me away. Really? And that was uh, it. That That's that's what blew him away. Nick wanted to see Fred again. Yeah. Oh, you really did? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I, th- I wanted to experience something. Boiler room set. Um, but yeah, use game time to get those. Uh, mm-hmm. You could go to Rolling Loud. You can go to exhibits and stuff. Uh, click on the top right when you make an account and then type in uh, type in <clears throat> Untold for $20 yeah. off first purchase, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Really, really appreciate the boys at game time. Now, what were we talking about? Were we talking about you DMing an all-time athlete or me? We were doing tomato jam. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I, no, I, we I both have had interesting things yeah, going on, dude. I DM Joe me Burrow w- once. Did he DM back? <laughs> no. <laughs> Doesn't he follow you on Twitter? Bigger risk reward, yes. What's he, what did he? Yeah, that was yeah. The- I did get a little bit too big for my britches because I also DM'd. First off, yeah, the Yo-Yo Ma was insane. I DM'd Yo-Yo Ma. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Only four hundred ninety thousand followers. Yeah. yeah, there's fucking micro influencers. What'd you say to her? Yo Yo Ma's uh, guy. Oh shit! What'd yeah, you say to him? Man. Hello, YYM. Just want to <laughs> just want to let you know I messaged a woman so far out of my league. Yo Yo Ma parentheses cello emoji, and she responded because she's a fan of yours. I cannot thank you enough. And if things work out, I would love for the three of us to get together sometime. <laughs> No, I'll combust if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, if I'm dude. just like, but he didn't respond. Who did respond after we were done recording was Venus Williams, mm-hmm. which uh, unexpected, I think, for me, because yeah. uh, you said, I think verbatim, uh, she won't respond if you send something cocky like, yo. I think no, I think I, I encourage you to send yo because I mean that that's cocky and that's the biggest like that's the lowest chance to get a response. Yeah, uh, you'd think. But you said something very clever that would be appreciated. Very clever. Yeah. Um. Yes, but I send her that. I'm nervous to even talking about. All right. It. Yeah, yeah. Send her yo yo Venus Williams yo yo ma at what time? Uh, six twenty two. On what? Yeah. Uh, September PM, 20th. Yeah, okay. She actually responded not too. She responded pretty late. One thirty in the morning. Oh, that bathtub energy. <laughs> yeah. Huh? It was. Yeah. Oh, it was really? bathtub energy. It was bathtub energy for sure. She said, hello. What exclamation point. She was in the bath thinking about me. Yeah. Yeah. She said, hello. <laughs> exclamation <laughs> point. 
and then amazing with two star emojis. Not really a contextually not, appropriate not, response. Well, she, maybe she thought it was an amazing opening line. If she thought then she would put like a, a laughing emoji. She put two stars. Okay. Me and her. That's what I felt <laughs> it like. It kind of comes across as automated. It kind of comes across as automated. Um, but then you reply. I waited a little bit. Mm-hmm. How long did you wait? Eight hours. <laughs> um, Shit. Yeah, come on. And I said, Venus, 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 what are we going to do with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Venus, 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 what are we going to do with you? Uh, to which she sent, uh, replied with a laughing emoji. I thought we were done. She, uh, was it just a, re- a reaction? A laughing like reaction. A, okay. Yeah. That, you that's typically think, over, leave yeah. me. So I was like, okay, I got a response. That's enough. Mm-hmm. An hour later, she sends back, that's a good question. Laughing emoji. This is on top of the reaction. Later than the reaction. Yeah. She reacted. So Time she passed. probably got cocky. She was like, I'm going to hit him with just a reaction. If he's really into me, he'll still, repl- he'll that's still right. go again. That's right. Mm-hmm. She couldn't wait any longer. She's no. like, yeah, fuck, th- fuck this. Like, I'm going to still reply. Yes. She said, that's a good question. Laughing emoji. And I said, Venus, I'm full of them. <laughs> oh to which she God, laugh reacted. Dude, that's enough with the cockiness. <laughs> that's when I would have gotten real. <laughs> I would have been like, hey, like we're uh, the Barstool store is promoting different websites. You're. Yours was on like the list of potentials. I would love to. That's not getting. That's lying. Yeah, but that's something that can't like you could probably prove. You don't. That's getting real for you is lying. Yeah, I'm trying to get a response here. I'm trying to fucking. Well, she only laugh reacted to that. I. Yeah, I called her bluff, uh, but it wasn't a bluff. She didn't send anything. So that was Thursday. Okay. I kind of wanted to send her a selfie. Wait, wait. Since then, what did you reply? Nothing. Oh, you said, all right, thank you. I'm full of them. Yes. That he's, that doesn't like open up to a response. You're right. It puts mm-hmm. her in like a weird position. She doesn't want to be creepy. There's nothing. You got to ask her something open-ended or tell her something open-ended. I think I'm going to take a picture of me right now uh, and then just say new hoodie. Oh, Jesus, that is so cocky. <laughs> it's just a yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, no, I don't even want to be a selfie. Will you just take the picture of me? Yeah. And to be clear, this is going to Venus Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Not your face, dickhead. Oh, yeah, no, I know. You were Hawkeye facing uh, in there. Yeah. <laughs> he, saw his, he saw his fucking face for two seconds, you Hawkeye face. Oh, yeah, what? Then it's going to look like you posed for this and you took that much time to care. I did, yeah. Act like you're just okay. sitting down. Act like you're I'm doing something. Wait, 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 act like I'm sitting down or actually sit down? <laughs> Maybe act like it. Like, <laughs> oh, perfect, 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 perfect You might get a response within this episode. So you just want me to send that and say new got a new hoodie? Or do you just want me to send that no context? No context. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Send. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Oh, man. What a world. Jesus. I'm a little afraid. Oh, man. Um, while we're waiting on a response for that, it won't, won't be long. Um, <laughs> uh, there's something I have to bring up. Not quite a bone to pick, but there is, uh, I think our fans are monsters. Uh, not even yeah. fans, our listeners. Uh, somebody came to the Ricketts subreddit genuinely. To show off that she got leg correcting oh, like surgery. A, oh. And uh, she was left very confused. And I feel oh, pretty no. bad. I don't know how popular. It's a pretty common oh. diagnosis, I would say. <laughs> I was looking on our Reddit and then the Ricketts subreddit. Did you see this one? Did KB steal Venus Williams from Nick? <laughs> it's like a. Bl- <laughs> it's me. Oh, it's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. No, but a girl, uh, she went to the Ricketts subreddit 
and it said before and after of operations I've had to straighten my legs. <laughs> and the, some some of one, an anus fan became a mod of the Ricketts subreddit, and so he. <laughs> Now, like some Reddits can put like mega thread or something. Mm -hmm. This is categorized under what, Kyle? Dang. <laughs> that was the, oh, yeah. She's like a, just a girl who had very skewed legs. Oh, yeah. Horrendous. And then that she's proud of like her so probably very it. painful looking for a community to fit into. And the boys. I don't even know what Ricketts is, to be honest. Uh, nor do I. Because her legs aren't that skinny. I thought that was. The I thing. think they're just yeah. warped. They're very, yeah, they're f knock knee. Bow leg, yeah. um, but somebody just said, "Ouch!" Not as bad as Nikki Ricketts, though. She oh, said, she Nikki, she's very confused. I'm sure there's an untold story behind this post. To which she said, "What do you mean?" And oh. to which they responded, "Reggie." <laughs> <laughs> and they were just fucking with this girl who probably went through severe trauma, severe bullying. What well, is such a wo a woman move to like go through that and then be like, "Oh, I have to like post this to a community and get like." get a bunch of likes yeah yeah i get sympathy points yeah so i feel S suffer in silence yeah please do please suffer yeah. in silence okay. um yeah so that was keep doing that <laughs> yeah, that's funny <laughs> keep doing that kyle talk while i check and see if venus Fucking, all right i talk on tomatoes out <laughs> let's make that a trend uh there is some there was something else well, yeah, yeah what wait i had something as well that i wanted to talk about but i do forget not me eating brunch at Dimes. What? What is that? What's Dimes Square? Yeah, that's a thing that I've caught wind of. Same, but Dimes only to the extent of Dimes what you just said. Dimes Square is, uh, technically it is like a, a portion of Manhattan, um, like above Chinatown where the Dimes, whatever diner is, okay. and a few other like trendy hip spots. And it's become it's like evolved into this very meta, um, like c internet culture meme where more people just post about it instead of live about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> did you go there? No, I've never. I may have been accidentally. They're, yeah, they're doing like a reality show, Dime Square. Yeah, yeah. It's this new. It's this. The culture is being warped. Um, TikTok, like linguistics, has affected it all, and now it's not. It's meta gentrification, where people are just posting about this virtually place gentrifying as if, as if they know about it. They're not actually frequenting this place, and there's all these like esoteric, um, like stereotypes and jokes that I I'm trying like. A, it's feminine to like care about this. What about tomatoes though? To tomatoes. <laughs> I'm trying to think where they belong. <laughs> um, not in burgers. You yeah. need to clear the air. You're not Doug Winoy. Do people think I. People no, are I'm not 100% no, certain. I don't put. Yeah, my dad's doing his own thing. Can we get um, him on the show? He, I, he, I don't know how he would be. But he. Whenever I talk about him, like, ha, 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 ha. That one with uh, the Britney Griner one was funny. That Cardi B one was funny. And he always replies as if he, that's just business. He doesn't, like, he doesn't, he's not trying to get the laughs. He doesn't want people to think it's funny. He wants people to just get mad. He wants to evoke anger and that's it. That's all he wants. He doesn't want to get praise for it. Does he not want followers? He doesn't like the followers. People are DMing him, obviously. He thinks it's creepy and weird. He just wants to fuck yeah, with people purely, want, yeah. but not for laughs. He doesn't even want likes on his post because that, like, he wants everyone to hate him. That's the, ult <laughs> the ultimate troll. That's a 60s troll. He's a 60s troll. Yeah, he, yeah, 60s baby troll. He wants, he, that's, well, which is true in a sense. Like, so do you think when I was trolling, I was like, my end result was for the majority of people to understand it was a troll, to like it, to laugh at it, and to praise me for it. He just wants people to get mad. So do you think he'll retire festive 2018 and go to a different account? Go to a, like a, an alt account. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So stop. Don't play into it. Don't tell him it's funny. Just get, even if you have to fake it, just fake reply, anger. like angrily. Yeah, that's what he wants. That's what he wants. And unfollow yeah. him. Do, yeah, don't follow him. He wants to be a strictly a villain. <laughs> Is was he was he? What was your childhood like, dude? Because um, you have a mom that's afraid of everything and a dad that's evil. Yeah, my mom is extremely neurotic. <laughs> um, 
She consumes everything you do. It takes a toll on your life. Right. Yeah. They did a great job of never making me feel uh, like good about myself in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> you never like it. I was always. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. It creates humility. And it's like you, you should never, never act or behave superior to anyone. That's nice. By never like complimenting to an like too far always put me in check like hey like there's other people way better than you they, and they mm -hmm. let you know that pretty mm -hmm. immediately they yeah. never let you celebrate anything you, yeah i mean which is fine like you know you should celebrate in your head and be happy but never flaunt um sounds like you need some soco dude we'll be in the commercial for that update on that uh where you're at a fest whether you're at a festival tailgate relaxing Get yourself a SoCo Sour, SoCo Black. Those are bold. Uh, the SoCo Shower, the SoCo sh Sour Shots are my favorite. Um, love to say that phrase. Uh, one third SoCo plus two thirds sour mix. Throw That's it back. Good, yeah. Just like or just the SoCo and lime. SoCo and it's lime. Like SoCo cocktail. ginger. Yeah. God damn. Uh, use the link in the description of this podcast. Uh, you can see some more cool stuff from SoCo. Love it. Um, we're going to be in the a SoCo commercial brought it up last week i showed you a picture i showed you guys a picture of uh uh um of what you'll be wearing you know us yeah. in a penthouse i'm getting no. a custom suit that i can keep you have to get there eight hours early we got the itinerary yeah, yeah they were, they sent an email there was like yeah be prepared for four hours of makeup and then they like rep did a second reply with just me tagged and was like oh that applies to roan sass and nick you're going to need more like eight or so hours to get your. Yeah. Did you see the uh, the like uh, itemized thing of like the costs? No. Your prosthetic was eleven thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be airing like on a lot of YouTube channels that aren't even ours. People's first taste of all of us. Mm -hmm. Me in a suit, makeup done. Right. You, I know, yeah, eleven thousand. Yeah, <sighs> we just have that to throw. Yeah, I yeah, we that. have that. Um, I would take that. But I mean, if you guys heard that loud noise earlier, it was the fucking table leg that fell off of this. But you know, we have we have KB Soco prosthetic money. Yeah, just to make my head and dwarf. shut up. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's my head's gonna be warped. Um, you're going to it is going to suck so bad you're gonna uh, i cannot wait to see you because i think i'll collapse to the ground laughing oh my god i remember in my freshman year of college i got uh herpes not auditorium the, not the std outbreak on my scalp this was over thanksgiving break so i had a bunch of like scabbed sores the golden like pussing this is just this is embarrassing to admit but they were all over my scalp the whole scalp I had to miss the Penn State Open. Um, because of herpes? Yeah. Did they a, list that on the injury report? No, it was a it was like a f open tournament for like the freshmen in the red shirts. Yeah. So it was a whatever. I don't have to make weight. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to just hang out. My other friend who was hurt came over and I mean, he, I was like just picking out my herpes scabs and he f f fucked a girl in my, um, in my dorm room. Why you were picking at your scab? Yeah, and it was. It wasn't his room. I mean, that, that was. I think that was the lowest point of my life. Just like I had herpes scabs, and my friend was just pounding, fu like fucking uh, loudly. And was it like, your it bed? Was, yeah, no, it was my roommate's bed, but it was ten, five feet away. He didn't care. She didn't care. It, it doesn't matter. It was what's the, fact the nearest that was, to a person you've? What's the nearest to a person you've been while fucking, but not the person you're fucking? Um. Never in the same room. Like, I'm not about that. No. No, I'm like, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm a courteous enough. Yeah, but just like, yeah, I have herpes on my head. Um, <laughs> it wasn't like stopping me from having sex. I could have still had sex without anyone knowing because I had a, a full head of hair. I think I tried that night and just like so being up, like scratching my herpes sore. Having pus all over your fingers. Like, hearing other people fuck. It was really bad. Low point. Yeah. Damn, man. It feels like this episode has been therapeutic. We, at your lowest point, talking about your parents, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Does your mom still text you a lot? 
about um, the things you say? No, no. Um, she's, I think she still consumes, but she knows to not bring it up. Cause yeah. I, listen, I, I I'm going to say it. Um, it's not that I want to say it. It's that it's, it's hard to converse and to like come up with topics f- for an hour to two hours every day. Yeah. So like, I'm going to say things that are off the wall with the silver lining being that they might be funnier than just an ordinary thing going on. And it might, yeah. And it's going to hurt her feelings. <laughs> and that's, that's just how it is. Maybe your mom needs some fucking better help, dude. Thank you yeah, for that. Yeah. That maybe. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, you know what, you know exactly what it is. We've, we've had them a couple times and we, yeah, and they slipped away a couple times and, uh, well, the, yeah, well, you, s- not I now, remember, not I, remember I, I, I gave the, it can promo be tough to train your, it, we were it, like, yeah, if you don't, you train if you your don't brain, get ba- you can, the therapist, try to kill yourself. You can talk. <laughs> Kyle, uh, for the, for the, uh, I'm going to start the ad over, uh, better help, man. Um, therapists can help you become a better problem solver. They can make it easier to accomplish your goals. Uh, I've been using it because I've been down in the dumps I've been run down. I've been spread thin. They help. Yeah. And, uh, you guys can go to BetterHelp. Uh, dot com slash what untold 15 nope. thir- untold fit no not 30 untold no, it's not just straight untold. up untold, untold. 25 <laughs> yeah. percent anus 15 no. nick <laughs> no dude kyle no what is it new just new yeah okay. just new for 10 percent off that's the first time Betterhelp.com slash new. B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash N E W. Rock with that. Yeah. It's better than in person therapy. How did you like spending the week with Mincy? <sighs> he kind he, of liked it. Um, he does have an infectious charm. He is strictly optimistic. Yeah. He's never really said a negative thing. No. Um, a lot of like self centered. He does like himself, which is whatever. Um, Kind of like he repeats stories a lot. Yeah. Uh, My favorite part was when we were uh, we were with this TikToker, Stale Cracker. Has like 7 mm-hmm. million followers. He's a Cajun chef. Uh, Mincy just walked out of the room and he was still mic'd up. We're like, what's he doing? And Fasoli just heard him <laughs> slurping out of the faucet yeah, on the sink. Slurping out of the there sink was bottled faucet. waters there. He just went to the bathroom to <laughs> slurp yeah, out. Yeah, he was slurping water. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, um, that, was a, that was a highlight for me. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. There's a, but, uh, oh dude, I'm just very exhausted. We're doing a lot of prep for the live show. Should be good. We're doing, uh, got tomatoes. (sighs) (laughs) Oh, fuck. I should have saved that bit for, um, for the show, but I'll, I'll, you know, work out. Yeah. I'll, you know, polish it. I, uh, I sent a sweatshirt to merch. I want us to have better merch. Um, uh, people, more parts of the studio are breaking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come to Barstool, man. You get the best guests. You get the pod studio whenever you want, even though if it's, yeah. I don't want to bitch. This is yeah, this uh, is a dream. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I sent an idea to merch. They shot it down. It was a, uh, uh, it's a picture of it's three photos on a shirt, a triptych, if you will of uh j-lo and ben affleck and it says benifer <laughs> and then i the middle one was uh brad pitt and angelina and it said uh brangelina and yeah and then it was uh nick and Riggs, and then it was just a scratch out below <laughs> and so oh yeah and yeah. they were just like yeah we can't do this i'm surprised they caught it yeah yeah yeah, those but, dummies. Okay, yeah, but you trash it out and put Rick, which works. I could put Rick, yeah, yeah underneath, yeah. Uh huh. Maybe that's what we'll do. The, a very subtle <laughs> scratch out with Rick. Um, I don't think they'll catch that. <laughs> Maybe a very thin line through the first option. <laughs> yeah. A thin yeah. blue line. Yeah. <laughs> thin blue line. Yeah. For the the one portmanteau and then yeah. you know, underneath. <laughs> maybe right. not it's like the no smoking slash so it says like <laughs> so it knows like we didn't mean that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't be misconstrued <laughs> <laughs> two white guys with that symbol <laughs> with that underneath <laughs> <laughs>
you, you know where we stand. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, that'll, that'll be in the store. Realistically, <laughs> what could we just like release just like a gray hoodie? Blank? Yes. Uh, didn't Kanye do that? Yeah. Uh, we probably, I don't want to step on any toes. <laughs> no, we could put a, we could put a gray hoodie out. Or even just like a yeah. three pack of black t-shirts. No, they'd probably say no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't hoodie. give us purple. You guys just aren't in that level yet. The anus gray hoodie. Yeah. I mean, it's better than like sacrificing whatever to like design for a joke. Do you want me to call so merch right we, now? Yeah. <laughs> merch won't pick up. You don't think merch will pick up after all I've done for merch? <laughs> nah, merch is a it's, it's a dime square. Did what, what? Do we know what it is? Do oh. we know what dime square is? Um, I know what it is geographically, but I don't know what the phenomenon is. Um, the, yeah, I found an article breaking it down, um, and basically it says they don't know what dime square is either, but. It could be an ironically naughty, anti-woke intellectual movement, a post-pandemic creative vanguard of downtown NYC, or just more than likely mostly pretty and privileged young people hanging around a few newish bars around Canal Street. But yeah, they got a reality show now. Yeah, and that they're all transplants, too, too and to know too, that yeah. specific of a neighborhood. What were you saying? Uh, that seems too insignificant to be a phenomenon. What? That's, I know. I, I can't. What the f <laughs> the that's fucking wild dude um kyle i have to uh what do you do for a living uh what song are you listening to <laughs> dude f do something new uh TikTok, are you talking about tiktok tiktok is ruining people because yeah. that well it it spews out their content to not their followers to everyone tiktok knows when you're horny and <laughs> Yeah, but and like so, like they keep it just kind of encourages people to do the same thing every single day, dude. Because it's gonna reach a new audience every day. But you're stuck in this warp of you're doing the same shtick, the same bit, the same thing every single day, and it keeps getting rewarded. My entire TikTok al algorithm is like, let's test your reflexes, and it's like a girl and like just a another colored bikini that you pause on <laughs> and i just i have to do it i don't know why yeah do you ever get those no really no it's I, like a girl in I, her pjs i don't get that many titties either. ever since I yeah I ever since persian smoochie got her con like account <laughs> who's persian, I'm who's done persian with smoochie that. I no I, had, I haven't had a pair of breasts on my timeline in a while yeah. it's always open it up like, let me see what you always have always just geography guys um, analyzing maps but to the point you were making about Persian Smoochie is back on, by the way. I think she's under, <laughs> she's Wait, Persian per Kim K now. Oh, I gotta look up who um, it is. Like that kid QCP came in here. It's the Italian cook on TikTok or whatever. Oh yeah, the and one said, the Donnie like, fight. Yeah, fought. but he yeah. said yeah, it sucks. So, like you get such a specific brand. Yeah, and you got to do it daily. You got to do the same thing, um, and it keeps working for them because mm -hmm. it's it's not their own followers seeing the same thing every day. It's a, it's a different crowd. Yeah, I've never um, seen Persian Kim K. I mean, that's not too far fetched from regular Kim K, is it? Kim, uh, she was she Albanian? No, she's uh, it starts with an A. Lebanese? Oh, Armenian. Armenian. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's the same pigment, same melatonin, same look. Yeah. She's doing all right. She. The, the, she's in your algo. She was, and then I had to. Yeah. You, My oh, computer doesn't let well. me Google Persian smooch. <laughs> really. Yeah, it just goes away. Gone are the days, yeah. Gone are the days of Googling mm. Persian smoochie. <laughs> All right. That was a new yeah. untold story, 311. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby! <laughs>